in the president's footsteps. Everything from meeting with service members to where he eats to where he tees off takes a lot of behind the scenes work. And one of the familiar faces of the presidential media coverage is ABC News reporter Yunji Denise, who grew up on the Big Island and has family right here. She joins us live this morning. Yunji, good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, now I know your uh, colleagues have been teasing you about having this really <laughs> cushy assignment on vacation with the president, but uh, you've been working some really crazy hours. In fact, you had to wake up at one o'clock this morning for work, right? I know we have a <clears throat> excuse me. We have a story this morning on Good Morning America about the president praising Michael Vick. I think you talked about it earlier in your mm -hmm. newscast. And you never know. You know how morning producers are. They come in and they want to change everything. Unfortunately for me, the hours are such that they're calling me at midnight and waking me up and having me change a few tracks. But so far, so good. When you look at that blizzard, you feel very blessed to be here. And of course, I get to squeeze in a little time with family. And yeah. Said, so it's it's good. But there is this perception that we're just laying on the beach, drinking Mai Tais, taking hula lessons, like yeah. a, a cruise or something. And we're not. We're working. Yeah, there's real work to do here. You know, we, we don't like that perception either that we're just cruising around too. So, But uh, when you cover the president, I mean, you have to follow his every move. What is your typical day like uh, here in the islands as you follow him while he's on vacation? You know, it's interesting because the president really tries to keep a low profile while he's on vacation and it just varies year to year. The first year we were here, this is my third time now getting this cush assignment. Mm -hmm. uh, the first year he was the president-elect and so, of course, he was a lot freer than he is now because you had George W. Bush still in office who was handling the day-to-day -day business and so the president really just wanted to get some rest and he, you know, you saw him go on the beach. That's the one year we did see him actually swim without a shirt on that famous photo. Mm -hmm. Last year, the whole tenor of the trip changed because we had that, um, you know, the so-called underwear bomber on Christmas Day and the gentleman from Yen Yemen who tried to blow up the plane bound for Detroit. So that changed the whole trip because then we were doing national security briefings. The president spoke on camera. He had to break away from his golf game and do some work. This time, so far, so good. Knock on wood. No news. So he's getting shave ice as we saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. He's on the golf course. He's with family. And so that gives us a little bit of breathing room, but you just never know. With the Michael Vick news yesterday, that came out of left field, and all of a sudden, I'm reading everything I can about football. Basketball's my <laughs> game, not football. So, you know, it is it is a little challenging. Yeah. Uh, you never know what's coming And speaking out. of shave ice, you know, there was quite a hoopla at uh, Island Shave Ice in, in Kailua, and uh, one of my friends is actually working on the media pool, and he said that uh, Mr. Obama said, hey, anyone want some shave ice? It's on me. And he went to everybody, including the media, which respect respectfully declined for him to pay for it, but uh, there's actually quite a bit of choreography that is involved with him going out on these little so-called uh, impromptu outings, right? Absolutely. The Secret Service has to get there in advance, sweep everyone, and the way it works is that if you were in, let's say, Island Snow before he got there, you can stay, but anyone mm -hmm. new coming in can't come in. So they try to, you know, respect the people who are already there, but if you're not there, too bad. Um, I think that, you know, the president obviously wants to enjoy his vacation, but he does know that the American people are so curious about him being the commander-in-chief. We're also interested in him as dad-in-chief. What did he get the First Lady for Christmas? They won't tell us. You know, all all of those sort of personal details we're so interested yeah. in. So if we can see him eat a little shave ice, we definitely want to see it. But as you said, we have to get there so early, get our cameras in place so we have that natural moment. Well, my <laughs> producer is telling me to wrap, and I know what you know what that means, <laughs> but uh, I have to ask you this quick question. Your mom and your stepdad are, are still in Javi on the Big Island, they are. and I know that uh, they're so excited to see you. So what's the one thing that you have to do with them when you're here? Oh, I got to take my mom to Ala Moana because she never gets to go shopping in Javi. There are no malls. So, good morning, Mom. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank Denise, you. I thank really you appreciate so it. And uh, if you want to watch this interview again or see any of the other segments featured on our morning news, you can go to KITV.com slash this morning. And Yenji, I know you know how to do this, so why don't you just take us out to break so I can just sit okay. back and relax well. and be on vacation <laughs> for a second. Coming up next, a recap of today's top stories. Here's a live look out on our roadways. You're watching KITV 4 News this morning. We'll be right back. <laughs>